Hey everyone. Okay, let's talk today about menopause. So I've been watching some videos about menopause and I have had like these night sweats, major night sweats. Like I am just not, not probably as bad as some women where I've heard like they've had like seven towels under them and they have to keep taking the towels off as they drench each one. I mean, that's extreme to me. So years ago, woo, I prepared for this. I almost dropped my glasses. I prepared for this, um, you know, during that time of premenopause or perimenopause when you know that your body's starting to change. So if you can get on top of this and get ahead of the game and have a plan and think about which way you wanna go, I think you're better off. So for me, I already decided no hormones, none because not only is it like horse pee you're eating, um, I just don't think that it is the best way to go usually for women. I'm not gonna judge women who need it, but I tend to be very natural myself. I tend to like to get my vitamins from my food. I don't even take vitamin pills. I don't take anything except Advil if I absolutely have to. So my grandmother had a hysterectomy after having 10 kids. And um, I think that's really tough on women if you don't really need one. Um, I don't know the situation. I think she did really need one. I think her uterus, she said, was feeling like it was falling out or something. I don't know, I was a kid, but I do remember that. So um, I'm going natural and what am I doing? After doing a lot of research, um, I am going to be going as natural as I can. And as far as my diet, I think a lot of women cut their food <clears throat> intake at this time because they don't want the mid, you know, midsection weight gain. And that's where I'm struggling right now. And like my pants, <clears throat> yeah, I'm kind of buttoning them up. My other pants just don't fit anymore. So I went to the gym. And in like three weeks, I only lost like a pound. I could not believe it because I went to the Grand Canyon and um, I had a lot of activity there. I've been walking a lot. Some guy just saw me and he's like, you're walking again? You walk a lot. And I go, yeah, it's good for me. So um, I didn't know that he noticed, but the weight is really stubborn to get off, even with walking. I'm in this time in my life where I used to be able to eat anything I wanted always you know never really thought about it always was active all my life um, never had to worry about really my weight and then being pregnant like my first son I only gained 22 pounds my second son I gained a little bit more and then I lost so much after chasing two kids I was down to like I don't know, 120 or something. It did not look good on my frame. I actually had people telling me to gain some weight because it looked, I you could see my bones. It just did not look good on me. Um, and then my third son, average. Um, and then with my last two, my last pregnancy, I had gained more than ever. But I still, you know, I worked it off after I had him, no big deal. So now is probably the time I'm at my highest weight ever in my life. And you know what, it's, it's okay because um, it's, I'm doing something about it. I guess that's what I'm saying. Because of the breast cancer scare I had, which is usually when women have um, cancer is right around that menopause time, which I didn't know. So I am working at it, I'm watching what I eat, and for me, the goal is more protein. And I know a lot of women cut meat, and they cut dairy, and they cut uh, carbohydrates. It's like, my goodness, what can you eat, you know? The, carb, the carbs give you energy, um, natural sugar, and apples, and fruit. Um, I, I'm not gonna cut that. Uh, I like my bread, I am a bread eater and yeah, I need the protein. I actually need to up my protein because I need the energy because my energy levels, years ago, my energy level was going down and I didn't know what was going on. <clears throat> and I think I probably could have, 
you know, done something better with my diet. But right now my protein is, you know, I can feel the energy levels going down at a much faster rate. I haven't really had mood swings. I just haven't. Um, divorce rates are higher at this time. Um, and I think the reason why is because usually a woman at this age, she starts to really need to focus on herself. And as you focus on yourself to take good care of yourself, you don't have as much um, energy or time to put toward your husband as you did before. Um, you really have to take care of yourself. I know the sex drive goes down for a lot of women. Um, I think that you just have to pay attention to that carefully. I don't think that's something that you have to go through if you keep your mind really positive, et cetera, and do something about it. So this is where I'm at. Um, last period was actually right around my birthday and it had gone up and down. You know, I, I was late and then I had a period and I was kind of, you know, it was kind of off and on. So now I haven't had one for um, a while. So I pretty much feel like I'm entering that stage. And I think being aware of your body and knowing your body and knowing, okay, this is ovulation, this is period time. If you track it, you're better able to stay on yourself. And, and you know, the, I actually feel relieved not having a period because when I did have one, I would get really edgy with my PMS and I'm not feeling that. So that's really good. I'm not feeling the cramps. Some women feel they have cramps or something all the way up until age 70. So I'm actually feeling really good other than my energy levels I have to watch and my weight. So that's kind of what I got for you today. Um, if you wanna leave any comments below about what you've been through, with menopause or the change of life is what they call it. Let me know. I haven't really found anything different in my personality. Like I don't, I know some women change and they want to go party and they want to go, you know, have a free for all. I have not found that happening. I have found more maturity coming my way and more, um, am I, I kind of already know, like I'm halfway through my life at more than half halfway through. It, it doesn't scare me. I feel like I lived a very good life. I did what I wanted to do. I, you know, raised my kids, did whatever, you know, I thought I needed to do, and I don't really have any regrets in life. So that's kind of what I got for you today. And yeah, if you can relate, leave a comment. And that's what I got for now, guys. Talk to you later.